Hi, today I made a change in my home network. I actually added a firewall just to increase the security. But all of a sudden I realized I can no longer connect to my VPN server. This is my ASUS wireless router, which is also my VPN server. I actually configured it to be an open VPN server, which is my favorite type of VPN. I actually have another video on how to set up OpenVPN on ASUS WRT, so definitely check that out if you are interested. So at first, when the VPN server stopped working, I was like, it should work, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. Until I logged into the VPN server and saw this. Then I was like, yeah, it should not work and I don't see any reason why it should. So let me show you what the problem is. At first the VPN server was connected like this. It had a public IP address and therefore was reachable from the outside. And the VPN clients could either use this public IP address to connect or if there was a DDNS configured, then use that DDNS address to connect. But when I added the firewall, now it is the firewall that has the public IP address and the VPN server has a private IP address and therefore it is not accessible from the outside anymore. This is actually a common problem when VPN servers are behind NAT. But the good news is that it can be easily fixed. If I configure my firewall in a way that if it receives traffic from the VPN client, then forwards that traffic to the VPN server, then I have somehow fixed the problem, right? And I actually can do this by using port forwarding. So if I need to do port forwarding, then which ports exactly should I forward? That actually depends on what type of VPN is used. I, for example, am using OpenVPN, which by default uses port UDP 1194. So on the firewall, I'm going to add a port forwarding rule in a way that if it receives any traffic on port UDP 1194, then it will forward that traffic to the VPN server, which in my case has a private IP address of 192.168.10.2. And of course, the local port number is 1194 as well. There is still one last thing that I need to do, and it is going to be on the VPN client side. So before the client was configured to connect to the public IP address or the DDNS address of the VPN server. But after I added the firewall, it is possible that now the firewall has a different public IP address. So I should update that on the client side as well. Basically after I have configured the OpenVPN server on the ASUS wireless router, then it will generate a configuration file that should be transferred to any clients that need to connect. This file actually contains some necessary information for the clients, including the IP address of the OpenVPN server. So for example, if I export the configuration file right now and send it to the VPN client, it will not be able to connect because in this file the IP address of the OpenVPN server is a private IP address. So before that I should replace this private IP address with the firewall's public IP address or its DDNS address. I can actually use a text editor to open the configuration file and update the IP address. Okay, so the problem is now resolved. The VPN server is up and running even though it doesn't have a public IP address and it is actually behind the NAT. Okay, so just to recap what I did today. First, I added port forwarding to my firewall. So now it would pass the traffic coming from the VPN client to the VPN server. I also updated the IP address in the VPN configuration file. Because I'm using a dynamic public IP address and chances are when I connected the firewall it has received a different public IP address than what I was using before. But if I use a static public IP address then I don't need to do this because that IP address is not gonna change. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I see you next time.